Welcome back to Boom Beach. It is the 26th of May. A lot has changed, but today is the day that we've got the Mega Crab coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get as much loot as I can just to go ahead and start upgrading my heroes, even though it's not really going to make too much of a difference in eight or so hours. Every little bit helps. So what I am going to do is because the imitation games are on today and they are very, very easy usually, all I'm going to do is boost up my statues. Uh, for resource rewards and I will also go ahead and boost up my gunboat energy masterpieces because what I do like to do is have a little bit of fun a little bit too much fun attacking these bases with just my critters and trying to get as far as I can with just gunboat energy so over here like this one's only got 29,000 um, health on it so this is going to be actually pretty easy all we really need to do is let's see use one two about five I'd say artillery three four five oh six all right six will do but the first couple of stages you can really easily do with just critters if you so chose to and i'd really love to actually be able to finish a full day with just critters but that remains to be seen but in the meantime though mega crab has come to attack us which oh we're going to be attacking mega crab and it's going to have some very interesting troops called i think super troops who have much more speed and I think much more power, but they don't really have all that much health on them. I think that's the way it'll work. So that'll definitely be interesting. I haven't really been using too many of my heroes as well. I mean, this lady's got a special ability where she just targets um, different weaponry. I'm not sure how this will go with her. Is she gonna actually use that special ability? There we go. That's actually a pretty cool special ability. I really do like that. So now all the other defenses are attacking it, which is actually very, very cool. Let's see what she's chosen now. The flame trial. So what we can do is just make it much easier for us. Uh, if I go here. Oh, you actually need to press the hacking thing first, and then you choose the flare, which does get very confusing for me. Hopefully she... Oh, she didn't manage to do it in time. Anyways. What I'm going to do is just throw down some critters, and I'm not really sure how our critters are going to do. They should be able to clear this out pretty easily. There we go. As I was blabbering on, I lost uh, my train of thought in what I was going to do with this uh, little base. But, yeah, I haven't really been using too much of the heroes, and it'll be interesting to see how they utilize, or how they make us utilize the heroes when it comes to it. I do want to start uploading a little bit more on this channel as well, but... I have been saying that. I do have a couple of videos privated, but just not released just yet. All right, these couple of uh, bases are very, very common, to be honest, with the imitation games. They're very, very easy as well if you've got critters. Um, although, if you've already got critters, you're pretty much near the end game. Or at least base building, or at least uh, headquarters-wise. So, you pretty much know what you're doing. All we really need to do is drop down the critters down the far ends and get them to go ahead and clear out all of these buildings out over here now what else do we have over here nothing in the path i mean i'm still a warrior user that's all i really ever use that's all that you ever really need to use uh but let's have a look and the warriors are able to get down to the headquarters very very simply but of course i want to save up as much as i possibly can and try to be able to take down these headquarters with just gunboat energy then again, this is only stage three, so this will be interesting nevertheless. Let's just bombard everything and that'll work. All right. With plenty to spare as well, which is important. All right. That was actually quite a surprise. Then again, we had 130 gun per energy or so, which is more than enough. And we're getting those resources quick smart now. All right. So let's go check out what's happening out over here. We have got where is this headquarters right out over here all right so let's go ahead and check out some of these ranged weapons that they've got okay so from memory we can't target prototype weapons uh with the lady uh, which i don't seem captain everspark that's the one captain everspark all right so what is a good idea to choose i think probably this shock launcher because that way the laser beam when it's targeting the shock launcher will be able to hit the rocket launcher there as well at least that's my hope anyway 
and it should be fairly simple i think we've only really got two rock okay not quite sure how we're going to do this with just gun about energy though it will be interesting to see so let's go throw down her and then we'll go choose this and then we'll get her to target the shock launcher and i'm really hoping this will work out for us although i definitely don't have my fingers crossed oh indeed it does work okay so there goes one shock launcher now let's have a good hard think are we going to be out? i didn't really check the health on the headquarters though did i um i think i'm gonna have to go all out though so what i'm gonna do is let's check this out Throw down a barrage over here on the left-hand side. Try to get rid of the mortar. And damage that cannon. I wanted to destroy that cannon as well, but clearly... Or the Doom Cannon, but clearly that did not work out for us. In our favour. Alright. Now. Next up on the agenda is I'm going to go get these rocket launchers. Hopefully it's only going to be two... Oh, okay. It is only going to be two hits here. That's great. Okay, now let's go ahead and I want to get rid of that mortar, I think. So let's go throw down a barrage. Should get rid of that mortar and we should be able to get a fair few things there. Okay, now we've got 43 gunboat energy left. How are we going to do this with just uh, our weaponry? That is an interesting uh, wood storage. I don't think I've ever really seen that one. I think that might be a new texture, I think. All right, now these laser beams are going to go get down to work. Let's hope that these critters manage to actually do a fair amount of damage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down the critters down over here. Doesn't seem like it's going to really work out because that's got way too much health on it. We've only got two minutes left over here as well, so... We're going to have to bring out the good old trusty warriors, aren't we? Which is a shame. I mean, they've done a fair amount of work. I can't complain. Alright. Well. The time has come. We've got to uh, suck up our pride. And go do it the hard, old-fashioned way. Get onto the laser beam. And then I'm going to go... Well, all I can really do is just go straight onto the headquarters, so... We will lose a few of our warriors, which is a shame. But it just took a second or two to actually hit. Let's see, how many did we lose? Four, I think. Yeah, four it seems like. Oh well, so stage four we could not do, unfortunately. Well, I do like this challenge, because I mean, with warriors, all you're doing is just going ahead and uh, raiding straight onto the base, the headquarters, so it's not as fun. Uh, this stage should be fairly simple. I don't see any defenses out back. Uh, let's just check out the headquarters health. 100,000, so that's not the, all that much either. What we'll be able to do, though, is get three of these things. So the headquarters, rocket launcher, and sniper tower. Then we'll get just the rocket launcher here. Actually, we might be able to get a barrage and try to get that sniper tower out. Beautiful. All right. So now I'll throw down critters on the left and the far right. And you know what? Just for good measure in the center as well. So now all of the rocket launchers are gone. Nothing can really attack us from far on out. I mean, to be honest, this would be a decent base against uh, Dr. Hammond when he attacks us. There we go. We've got the grappler. But I'm not really all that worried about that, to be honest. Well, we've got so many critters everywhere, it's spread out. They're going to do a mighty good job. Alright, so I might be able to actually clear this base out with just my gunboat energy. Which is great. I'm actually feeling very confident now, so what I'm going to do is just throw down one artillery, and then I think I'm just going to barrage the rest of it. There we go. Simple. Stage 4 was tougher than Stage 5, to be quite honest with you guys. Definitely a rather easy warrior base too. 
Because, uh, I mean, when you've got uh, headquarters that are right on the beachfront, very, very easy. So let's go ahead and get our four warriors that we lost last time around. And let's check out what's happening over here. All right, so stage six is going to be much more difficult. I don't think we're going to be able to do much with the gunba energy. It's got 203,000 health from the headquarters too. All right, a rocket launcher in range, two rocket launchers, three rocket launchers. We've got two shock launchers. All right, this is not going to work at all for us, unfortunately. Not a good day. All right, so all I'm going to do is just rush the base, really. Headquarters. I'm used to my camera being up here, but unfortunately my um, screen that I used to use died, so I've got a bigger one, and now I can't manage to put the webcam on the top of the screen because I've got like a shelf on top of it. So that's unfortunate. I've had to put my webcam to the side just for now. I'm yet to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I kind of want to use Captain Everspark just for a little bit of fun. Um, so let's go do that. Let's bring her out here. Get her to target this. I'm not sure if this will work though. Clearly I'm a bit of a noob with uh, Captain Everspark. The smoke should go. Actually, you know what? I'll heal her. Hopefully she don't die right away. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, we might as well get rid of that sniper tower just for good measure. Alright. That was actually pretty fun. I'm getting used to it. So we got rid of one shock launcher, which is a great deal of help. In the meantime though, let's go double smoke the beach. And then get up onto the shock blaster. So it'll be definitely interesting to see what the next couple of updates for Boom Beach are. Although to be quite honest, they've seemed to have uh, definitely slowed down on the updates. The hero update was big. Probably one of the biggest ones in almost two years now. Uh, but not as big as, I guess, Clash of Clans 2.0, as I guess you could call it. Which is the latest builder's up, or builder's base, really, update. Which is quite a lot of fun. Been having a fair bit of fun with it. I might be able to uh, live stream a little bit on YouTube. I might have to wait and see. If anyone is interested in seeing that, we'll have to wait and see. Because, I mean, these Boom Beach videos are definitely dying off on my channel. Because, I mean, have not been consistent at all, as we all know. Uh, let's go get our 15 warriors, which really did not cost many diamonds at all. Was that Nick at night? No, okay. I thought that was some of YouTubers' uh, base over there. Clearly not. All right, let's check this out. Uh, this is not going to work out for our little gunboat energy fantasy either, is it? No. Especially those rocket launchers. They're going to pack quite a punch. 140 damage or so a second. Uh, that's going to hurt. All right, so the headquarters has quite a bit of health. 200, almost 300,000 health on it. All right. I mean, it shouldn't be all that bad, though. So let's go ahead. Get right into it. I haven't really been using the heroes all that much, though. Um, just in my own time. I don't really find them too useful with uh, warriors, although the grenadier lady who I also can't seem to remember. She's got a, uh, like a motivational ability, and that really does help out the warriors, I find, anyway. But to be quite honest, I don't really seem to really need them all that much. So let's go ahead and try to save up as much gunboat energy as we possibly can. Lord knows we're going to need it. Because we've only got 54 left to play around with. What I'm going to do is throw critters up over here. Let's see what our guys managed to do. I don't think we're going to do all that well, to be honest. Wow. We got eaten up. Well and truly. All right. All right. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to lose a lot of my diamonds, especially for a moment like this where I really need them. What I'm going to do, though, is because I'm going to go ahead and clear out the rest of my map, let's just go all out with our statue boosts and get troop damage as well. Troop, dam oh. troop damage here. Um, all right. I think that's about it, really, that I can upgrade. So 
Let's go ahead and get right back into it. Uh, is there a... Oh, right. Of course, there's a thing to save as well, don't they? I forgot about that. Damn. Okay. I mean, now at least we've won for sure, but still. So, this is our final attack as well. I need to make this one count. Of course, it will count, though. Don't you guys worry. On to that sniper tower. Thankfully, nothing is managing to attack us there. Now. Let's go ahead and get three shocks ready now. Actually, we've got a lot of shocks now. And I'll throw it down a heal, actually. There we go. Seems like we only lost three, so... Progress. Progress. Only lost three, of course, because we didn't have a full attack. But that's going to be it for the 26th of May. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, there'll be hopefully a lot more um, Boom Beach content in the next couple of days with the Mega Crab. Or with the Super Warriors in the next couple of days. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for tuning in.